Betty Marianne Hauk here. Um, let's see, today's day 88 of the 100 day video challenge. And as you can see, I'm in the garage <laughs> because um, my kids are watching TV downstairs and I just, I want to be in a little bit of quiet um, while I did this and not have them bug me. So um, I'm standing next to my new car, yay! <laughs> that barely fits in the garage now because it's bigger than my other one and I didn't realize how much bigger. Looks like I'll be doing some reorganizing this weekend with uh, stuff in my garage. I mean, it fits, but it's hard to walk around it. Um, anyway, so today's topic is I finally learned how to say no. So my thing has always been, for uh, since I can remember, I always help everybody else. I always put myself last. I've just that's just I've always done that, and it's. I mean, it's, I'm not knocking that way. Of living but right now um, for the past few months I've done it too much and I put stuff aside that I need to be doing for myself so um, I finally learned I mean I help out a lot at my kids school so usually basically when anybody asks me to do anything over there I always say, oh yeah I'm available you know cuz I don't have a real job and you know and so everybody thinks I have all day long, you know, free time, right? So when I will always say, yeah, I'll help. Because I like to help in my kids' classes because I think it's important that the parents are involved. And they really appreciate that. And, but also other things like, oh, let's go to the mall and do lunch. And let's, you know, I have to do this. Can you help me? Can you drive me here? Can you do this and that and that? You know, so I used to do, I used to drop the kids off. I drop them off. Uh, every morning at 8.15, except one morning a uh, week when my ex does. But, so after I drop them off, I go to Starbucks, a couple, two or three times a week I go to Starbucks because I have a couple friends that hang out there, so we just catch up and hang out. And leave, you know, maybe half hour, 45 minutes, and then I would pretty much waste time by going, doing a bunch of errands and going to the mall and meeting my mom or, you know, that's not a waste of time, but meeting friends or whatever for lunch at the mall and then before I know it it was two o'clock and it's like oh too late to go home because I don't live right near school but not enough time to go you know too early to go to school because they don't get out till three so I'd go you know do whatever and just kind of kill time and then before I knew it the whole day was gone and I got no work done so now for the past well I'd say at least the past month if not more it has been my whole focus is work. Besides my kids, my focus is work. Um, and they know now, they're very involved in what I'm doing now. They weren't before. I, I didn't involve them for months over the summer and everything because um, I just didn't. It was, I didn't think, you know, it was the time to tell them what I was doing. But recently, I've been telling them and they know what I'm doing and they ask a lot of questions and they, they get it and it's really cool. So, now they know, it's like, you know, I have to do a video, so can you guys do this? You know, and then they watch TV and be quiet. I told them just now, I said, I'm going to the garage to make a quick video, you know, don't open the door and, you know, come out and bug me, talk to me while I'm doing this, right? So they know now, and, and I finally, like, hit me over the head, but you, ha I mean, it's not going to happen if you just wish it to happen, okay? You have to work at it. And now that I'm working at it, it's, it's hmm, kind of weird, but I've been grinding it out seriously um, for a while now, and now I'm seeing the results. So it's like, God, they've been telling me that, and I didn't believe it, you know? Not that I didn't believe them, I just wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. So now, like, literally, like, this last weekend, um, the kids are with their dad. I did a little Christmas shopping, but other than that, I was in front of my computer the entire weekend, and I did go to the Sharks game. So I did have to, <laughs> I had a free ticket from my good friend Amy, and I went to the Sharks game Saturday night. But other than that, I went right home. Um, I didn't go out Friday night. I didn't do anything. So I um, literally sat in front of my computer. I think I had the TV on for 10 minutes the entire weekend I was home. I, I, I don't even know what the heck I was in. Well, I was eating something really quick. Like 15 minutes for dinner, I took a break because I had to get my eyes a rest. And I put the TV on for about 10 minutes and some stupid movie was on or whatever. I'm like, yeah, this is a waste of time. 
So I turn it off and I went right back to my desk. And um, so now I'm, you know, I'm starting to build my team. I'm starting to see the results happening and it's awesome. And it's like, so now I know you just, you have to, like Vince always says, you have to sacrifice now to play later. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And, um, you know, and I'm not sacrificing, well, I guess I am a little sacrificing a little bit of time with my kids, but it's okay because they know why I'm doing it. I'm not just doing it because I don't want to spend time with them. It's not, you know, I, they know the difference. So it's okay. Um, and they know my vision and my goals and they're going to help me get there because they're going to, you know, behave and, you know, let me do what I got to do when, when I have deadlines and stuff like that that I need to get out. So, um, so that's about it. I just, I've learned that, you know, you can't sit around and waste time and, you know, do whatever you want and just, you know, wish your dreams to come true. You know, I mean, wish upon a star, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> But you actually have to work at it, and you have to work hard at first. That's just the way it is. But it's going to pay off later, and I know it, and it's totally worth it right now for me just to stay up till 3 in the morning, um, like I did last night, because I got to sleep in today. But, um, you know, I, I'm up till 1 or 2 every night, even during school nights, because I just know it's going to be worth it, and it's going to pay off um, in the near future. And it already has been. So it's just, that's just the way it works. So anyway, if you want something bad enough, you will work, you will do whatever you can to get it. It's just, it's very simple, right? And if you have to sacrifice stuff now, then you do, you know, it just depends on how bad you want it. Um, so I've learned to not say yes to everybody that asked me to do something for them, um, or even at school and everything. And it's just, I need, I know where I need to spend my time and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm, I think I hit a, I don't know, a light bulb went off or something. <laughs> a lot of light bulbs going off this week. Um, with our new, our new concept and our, you know, it's just so much going on right now that I just, I'm literally in front of my computer all day, except when I'm making dinner for the kids that are driving them around. But <laughs> other than that, so that's my video for today. I hope everybody had a great day and is having a great night and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.